Beethoven Piano Concerto No. 1 is actually Beethoven's second piano concerto because his second piano concerto was actually published first. When we talk about Beethoven 1, we are actually talking about a slightly more mature work than you might think. But it starts in the most wonderfully, deceptively simple way with four C major chords, one low one and three high ones in a distinctive rhythm. Beethoven takes that simple idea and throughout the course of the movement develops it. And you start to hear it in different guises, at one place in a completely different dynamic. And you hear it in a section that's absolutely mysterious. My favorite thing about the first piano concerto of Beethoven is that there are three possible cadenzas that you can play for the first movement. The interesting part is the third possible cadenza is one that he wrote many years later. At that time, Beethoven was literally a different composer. He wrote this absolutely out of proportion cadenza for the first movement of this relatively lightweight concerto. It's a fantastic testament to what happens when a composer grows. In this enormous cadenza, Beethoven, of course, takes that very simple idea from the beginning of the first movement and develops it. One of its appearances in this big cadenza, he goes into E minor, but immediately introduces non-harmonic notes, and it, and it has a very vague quality that you're not quite sure what key you're in. And in another place, he takes that same simple idea and makes big fuss over it. The beginning of the second movement of the Beethoven First Concerto has one of those chord progressions that makes you feel like you might be listening to a hymn in church. And the finale is a rollicking rondo. And I think in a way Beethoven saves his most inspired moment in this concerto when we get this distinctive theme. This concerto is a masterpiece of character, color, poetry, and good humor. The first piano concerto of Beethoven.